This is Going Green with Security, a 21st century building technology that's LEED certified and carbon negative, a solution to armoring every building's weakest link by Michael Fetland, president of Armor Glass International, Inc. as a presentation to AIA architects and other interested people. Armor Glass International is a registered provider with American Institute of Architects Continuing Education System. This is an earned credit for completion of this program that can be reported to CES. This presentation is protected by U.S. and international copyright laws. You can distribute it, but not under your name, but only if author credit is given. We have several learning objectives in this program. One is the forgotten lead factor. Everyone seems to forget about armoring the weakest link of every building. It's glass windows. We're going to review the a green plus security technology that works 24 seven and really does pay for itself in energy savings and to an amazing extent. It is carbon negative, meaning it saves more energy than it takes to make the product, cuts energy use up to 30%, solar heat up to 79%, cools hot houses, blocks burglars, hurricanes, tornadoes, and really shooters, and cuts harmful UV 99% while generating one to four lead credits. It's really fascinating technology stay tuned so what we have is a technology that protects families and businesses weakest link from human intrusion as well as mother nature's intrusion uh, studies have shown uh, glass breach leads to structural failure in hurricanes windborne debris tornadoes it's very much the same this program will discuss how security window film really armors windows for the 21st century between a warming planet, more fierce storms, burglar break-in, solar heat, even explosions all combined in one technology that is the lowest cost technology of all the options and it saves energy. What else do you buy? pays for itself. Armor Glass was founded by me, Michael Fetland. I started off as an international Fortune 500 technology negotiator worldwide. That ended up leading to a layoff, which ended up uh, leading to becoming a TV terrorism advisor on 9-11 and, and before that during the first Gulf War all of which is uh, documented on YouTube, uh, and which led to establishing Armor Glass to actually provide a unique green security technology that both saves energy and protects people at the same time, two of the most fundamental things you can do to make this a better world. In the last 30 plus years, I've been in nearly 50 countries, uh, ended up getting laid off after the Fortune 500, and that ended up actually uh, ironically leading to becoming a TV terrorism expert on 9-11 and for a couple years after that, and an expert for the Middle East during the first Gulf War. That is what led to discovering this technology that would actually protect people rather than my esteemed opinion as a terrorism advisor and that is why I set up Armor Glass at armorglass.com. You can get more of the details and how all this works and as to my background and perspective of technology and advancement and where America is and what we have to do to get our mojo back, Better Times Ahead April Fool uh, is my book and uh, the link is better times ahead aprilfool.com and for free at the end at the website you will find an updated version of the agenda for American greatness 
how we got where we are in this mess and how we get out, more importantly, from my perspective as the global strategist and technology guy that says we're not going to win this by not being the best. Uh, there is no second place in the future in a global space age economy, 21st century that we're in. So check this out and on to our program. As a, an example of that is uh, this photo of actually a hotel I've stayed at in Shanghai, China called the Renaissance. Uh, the photo's on the side, the building is not. I didn't have room <laughs> for the entire thing. You're going to see that our green technology can compete with China if we decide to do it. But this is the technology we have to compete with, the country we have to compete with to win in the 21st century. This is me, Michael Fetland, in 2012 in China, and that uh, blue thing is called the Temple of Heaven. It's been there for over 600 years and is not the oldest thing in China. Example of old technology that doesn't exactly apply to what we're talking about, but it will, and you'll see why. This is a photo of Shanghai, the Bund, the Bund, where you can, uh, along the waterway, the harbor part of Shanghai, the largest financial, key financial center of Asia, and it will be our major USA technology competitor in the 21st century, which is another reason why the technology I'm telling you about today is so fundamentally important in our future competitive in the global economy. The Chinese are old hands at technology. This was developed over 3,000 years ago, the Great Wall, in order to keep the Mongols and Genghis Khan from invading China. Well, that technology didn't work. The uh, guards simply were bribed and the Mongols got across anyway. And so it can show you that technology can work and sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, here is where the green technology comes in that saves energy and provides security for every building's weakest link. Glass is the weakest link. As you can see, hurricanes and glass don't mix. The photo on the left is a building in Houston after Hurricane Ike in 2008, one of many such buildings all across the city. The photo on the right is part of the Chase Tower. As you can see, all the glass was pulled out on one entire side of the building all the way up. Over $5 million in damages just from windows being sucked out of the building, not necessarily broken. This is something our technology would avoid. Sun and glass don't mix either. As you can tell, uh, as the planet gets warmer, the days get hotter, it is going to be a constant problem with solar heat that we have to address, but we can address that at the same time we address security. Burglars and glass don't mix. It takes the smallest amount of effort to break through glass, as burglars well know. Glass is a 5,000 year old technology. It has not changed in 50 centuries. It's basically melted sand and silicone with air pockets easily broken by a child, a dog, the smallest of force will break glass. It is the clear weakest link to any building. Easy entry, whether it's human or solar intrusion or mother nature, uh, glass is not your friend. You must armor your glass in the 21st century. Do you remember those old World War II movies where they had the little window tape all over the uh, glass, you know, the little axe? That never worked. The glass still blows through the tape. Uh, glass fragments are a thousand cuts. Um, 
glass shrapnel is not your friend. The film does a 100% covering of the glass. It makes a tremendous difference and it can also be anchored to the frames. This is the old way of protecting glass along with the horse and buggy. Goodbye. So why does green plus security really matter? All right, how does it work with glass? Check this out. Woo! Holy mackerel. All right, now let's go, go ahead and yikes. All right, now try the armor glass side. Ready? Yep, go ahead. Another burger foiled by Armor Glass Film. Okay, so maybe that was Mutt and Jeff on video, but it shows how easily glass breaks. Uh, and what a security film difference can make. Because really both security and energy savings are vital to our future under energy the heat loss and gain through buildings can that 50 percent of the building's heating and cooling needs goes out through its windows notice these windows all sucked out from hurricane ike that happened all over town security that's where this comes in under florida they found out what was causing these breaks was windborne debris in a smaller house, it can cause structural failure because you're basically blowing your house apart. Commercial building, you're talking water comes in, goes down, you got mold, you got all these issues because that may not look like much that can shut you down for months. So you have the human threat, smash and grab, hurricanes, tornadoes, and solar heat. This is what we're talking about. All right, this is a good comparison. You see the windows taken out there. You see what they ended up with is plywood over there. Actually here, you're looking through what you think is just glass, but it has a clear coating of armor glass security film, actually security film, that is armoring that glass from an impact. Should that tree blow into the glass, it will actually be captured by the film. You can't see it, but it's there unlike having a hole up here at, or one of these you've got something I'll show you in a moment the other threat to glass are explosions car bombs uh, factory explosions um, whatever it takes the security window film can be certified for explosions ours is and, uh, and you should never buy anything that's not. Uh, at least a GSA 3B3A explosion rated. Um, in fact, if you can do better, ours happens to be a level two, which is even higher. You can protect offices, schools, federal buildings, your, uh, your own residents from a number of threats. Even if it's just a hailstorm, it makes a big difference. This is another example of the human intrusion threat. This is actually people breaking through a glass wall into a conference in Asia for major political leaders, and they put so much force on the glass, they broke it. They had to shut down the conference because security had been compromised. During Hurricane Ike, you'll see on the picture on the right here, these are all missing windows during the storm, another part of downtown Houston. And again, think of it, all the water, the, the damage that went into the buildings uh, that could have been avoided had security window film been applied. Houston, we have two problems. In fact, it's not just Houston, it's our entire planet, and especially our country. Solar heat, definitely a major issue, and we have stronger storms. We have 24-7, 365 burglar issues. Those are the issues of today. 
Houston and parts south are in one of the major climate zones, but now that is even moving further north. Solar window film is not security film. You can throw a rocket solar film and it will go through the window. Glass walls, huge energy operating costs because all your power electricity is going through that glass. So we have triple digit heat more common as well as the storms. Hurricanes, burglars, you need a certified security film, not solar only. Something that's passed at least the Miami-Dade, which is the pressure cycling, the hurricanes, ATSM, ASTM, sorry, 1886, this is the large missile impact, level C, four and a half pound, look on armorglass.com, you'll see a video, two minute video showing what that is like. That means you can take a tree limb or a major rock and not penetrate the film. Security film and can be solar film. Solar film is not security film. But here you got the best of both worlds. You got the security and the energy savings of the solar at the same time. It's a double benefit. So guess what? Not all what they call security is certified. So make sure you're buying certified security film and thicker is better. Obviously we need the solar control because the heat through untreated windows. Look at this window. The glare is so bad. The photo is is a little bit blurry but you can see the heat index, the BTU meter, was over a hundred BTUs. That is because of the heat. Once we put the film on, you cut the glare the heat index dropped to under, you know, 70% below what it had been uh, with this particular film. And so instead of having the glare, the heat, you have 70% less heat coming in. That's 70% less energy required to cool the air. You immediately have savings. In this particular installation, they were spending 5000 a month on their electric bill. Reduce the heat by 70%, how long or how short should you think it would take to pay for itself in more ways than one. And they also got hurricane protection, which is what they wanted, and now burger protection as well, all with the same film, security film. Here's another shot of reality from, this is from Hurricane Ike blowing out windows and uh, what's a parking garage and the burglar thing which has really become a major issue. People realize how easy it is to get in. The neat thing is it's also a carbon negative product. It saves more energy than it takes to make it and it's also protecting you at the same time. What is there not to love about that? So here it is side by side. Solar film on this side, very thin. Uh, usually under two mil, it's, it's really not doesn't get beyond that. It only cuts solar rays. It will not prevent a breach. Uh, no burger protection, nothing. Security film, which is about four times thicker, it's at least eight mil, and you can get by with that. That's what's on the Pentagon. Um, it's a large missile impact rated, which is not a missile missile, but like an ICBM. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. But up to four and a half pounds, significant. You've got flying debris protection, a hurricane, tornado even, earthquake, burglary. Uh, you are armoring your glass. That's why we call it solar security film. And here's if what's impacted, as we said, is it a hole? No. You have impact, yes, but no breach like this. You don't have a person coming in. You don't have rain coming in you have a seal. That's the major difference. Just a word about Project Safe Windows, which was a study of the four hurricanes that hit Florida in 2004. They found basically that it was windborne debris. And while they did it, they studied the effectiveness of shutters, impact glass, and security film. They found that housing, the houses, buildings with security films survived the storm, while those without next door, 
even next door, were destroyed. But when born debris is the culprit, air pressure gets in, it gets out. One engineer once told me he calculated once a hole in the window was 50,000 pounds of uplift on your roof. He was the engineer. He knows more than I do. So the conclusion was each security film worked, but security film uh, worked as well, and it's the lowest cost option versus shutters 10 times more per square foot, impact glass at least five times more per square foot. All of the other options are more expensive than security window film. Since 9-11, all architects should really design to shelter in place for technology that includes energy efficiency, but also provides safety of the occupants from flying glass, whether it be hurricane, tornado, explosion, earthquake, or even humans breaking in. It is no problem. By designing it into the system, you would also prevent interior damage to, from not only the flying glass, uh, water intrusion, mold, all those things, but you also even prevent uh, UV from fading the furnishings, causing a sooner replacement. Uh, UV also causes skin cancer. So this is really a sustainable organic system should include the safety of the occupants uh, when they build glass palaces and let's face it, every building we live in, we want glass. We want to be able to see out, but it should be safe. You should armor that glass. And it's the 21st century. Look, this is the, the old way, plywood. Looks pretty dark in there. Uh, that's pretty heavy to put up there, and if it's on the second floor, you're, you're on a suicide mission. Now here is glass that actually has security film clear on it. It can get a tint version, but it's clear. It's a plastic shield between you and the dangers out there. On And on a tempered door like this, we even bond it to the frame with special structural sealant to hold it in place even if broken, it will stay in. Now, does this look like a suicide mission or not? And I once, I once had uh, someone in the space program tell me they were trying to do this one year, and they dropped the plywood, and it landed on the sprinkler, and he had a gusher from the sprinkler. Can you imagine if he had fallen off the ladder while doing this insane act, and we lost a major player in our space industry, or a business, or a family, whoever, trying to do this horse and buggy technology called plywood. This is what Hurricane Ike did to buildings all over downtown Houston, all over Houston, period. This is a Wells Fargo Bank building. This is a, another bank uh, office tower. Uh, can you imagine the beautifulness of the plywood there? Again, the uh, cost of trying to put impact glass in a structure like this would be three to five times more expensive per square foot than using a security window film like armor glass. Here are some other shots from downtown Houston. Didn't matter what kind of building it was, it lost power. The crosswalks lost, gla uh, lost glass, sorry about that. Can you imagine anybody walking through here uh, could have been hurt by flying glass. Uh, people in, in the offices, towers, could also be injured by flying glass, if not even sucked out of the building from the force of the wind. I clearly showed us how this devastating wind TV can be, even if you don't live in a high really wind area. Up. It often does the most damage where you might least expect it. 11 News reporter Sharon Min Chow takes a look at wind damage and the little known option for shoring up the weakest part of the building, the windows. 
In its fury, Ike rained glass onto downtown Houston. Windows picked clean from their frames in the Chase Tower. Not on the side facing the wind, but on the side sheltered from the wind. The wind tries to go around the structure, and as it does, it leaves a hole behind it. In that hole, you have vertice, you know, vortices and a lot of turbulence. Sort that turbulence, like a mini yep, tornado almost. and it causes the suction to pull the windows out. Oh, yeah. Today, windstorm engineer Darren Conrad does a little detective work for us. This is definitely not the work of roof gravel. First, there's none on the ground. Second, small windborne debris typically strikes 30 to 60 feet off the ground. The damage field is much larger here. This is pressure failure, amplified by surrounding buildings which channel an increased wind speed. You know, the tunneling effect. Wow, yeah. It picks up right here. And downtown Houston isn't even in a windborne debris region. Buildings that are must meet stricter building codes to qualify for state windstorm insurance. In Florida, a windstorm tunnel test is one of two options required for any new buildings in high wind areas. A full scale model is put to the test. At Chase Tower, replacing the contents and the windows will cost at least $5 million. Not to mention the damage on the street. Wow. <laughs> Solar charger took a hit. So what options are there to protect your business or your home? Labor-intensive plywood or shutters are the best-known options. And there is also security film. It's applied to the inside of existing windows. The goal to keep the opening, not the glass, intact. Once wind enters your house, it will look for a way out, often through the roof. This is a marketing clip showing a 2x4 launched into a treated window. Proper installation of the film is key. On a house, it's going to be probably under $10 a square foot. The only other options are impact glass and shutters, and those are going to cost between five and ten times more. Of course, the greater expense buys you greater protection if you can afford it. Yes, I saw the glass bend in. Sissy Farenthold is a veteran of yep. political storms and named storms. She had the film put in 24 hours before landfall, then rode out Ike in her 18th floor condo near West University. City. The rain was horizontal, and the, the windows held, the door held, but the water came in underneath. Her neighbor below didn't fare quite as well. For those who live in high wind areas, stronger measures may well be preferable. But for the inland... If, if there were film on this, would they, you think, the likelihood they would have at least protected the contents? Of course. Uh, I do. If they, would have, if they would have installed it correctly. The proper perspective? Not to keep the window picture perfect but to keep the wind out. Min Chao, 11 News. Another application for security window film was putting it in an ICU unit for premature babies that actually had windows facing a gravel roof uh, nearby and they were not able to uh, leave anyone in that room prior to putting security window film on due to the risk of a window blowing out, but yet if they unhooked an incubator from the wall, they could kill the child. So security window film provided a solution not met by any other technology. This is a view looking outside of that same hospital at Sparrow at the windows that uh, were exposed to debris strikes for an ICU. This is not totally unknown technology. In fact, uh, security window film, uh, same type uh, armor glass uses, was installed all through Washington, D.C. after 9-11 on dozens of buildings from the FBI building here to even the Pentagon. Um, over a half a million square feet because it basically armored their glass for explosions which was their major concern but it also protects them from a number of other issues including as we said energy and UV. Now you can have burglar bars of course if uh, you don't mind ugly and not being able to uh, move in and out um, so basically this is a much cleaner way of protecting glass than burger bars without scaring your customers. The 
Photo on the left here is the CNN building in Atlanta after a tornado had gone through downtown, blowing out glass and causing destruction. The Miami-Dade certification is the PA-201, the missile, as well as the PA-203, the pressure cycling, which is simulating an eight-hour hurricane pushing and pulling on the film and not failing for an eight-hour cycle. GSA blast test is an explosion test. If it hasn't passed all these tests, don't buy it, don't certify it. These are the tests that a certified security bill goes through to pass. This is the large missile test. That's a two by four, four and a half pound going through, but not with the film. Big difference. No protection versus protection. Small missile impact in the corner. These are now the small missiles. Rocks, even smaller objects can break glass. Now we're on the pressure cycling. This is film only holding broken glass over the course of hours and hours simulating a hurricane pushing and pulling on your film, on your window. If it fails, it fails. Impact. Big difference. Explosion, 500 pounds, 60 yards away. Here it comes, look out, here it comes. This is without it. Oh, you're eating glass, you're, you're cooked. This is with the film holding it back with the frame body, keeping it from blowing off the frame. Here you die, here you live. That is a big difference. Solar plus security film, really five in one benefits. First, it cuts the solar heating and rejecting the rays before they even enter the building. Notice how this is your window that the rays are actually rejecting rather than entering. Glass won't protect. You will save up to 30% on your energy. You cut 99% of UV causing skin cancer, fading, fading those wonderful uh, furnishings you got from Aunt Mabel. Protects lives, property, and generates those lead credits. Much more than that. Shutters versus security film. Here you have expensive and it's dark when these are closed. If the power is gone, they won't go up. It's dark inside. With security film, if it's power's off, you can still have visibility outside, light inside, and still have that protection. Big difference. And the major cost advantage of solar security film is that it's a fraction of shutters and impact glass, and it's uh, really even better than the hassle and the, and the cost of the plywood. When you think about having to store it, it's in your way, it's in the mess, you gotta put it up, take it down, put it up, take it down. You put our uh, security window film on one time and you're done. Another disadvantage of plywood is you have no time when we have these 24-hour storms popping up. We've had Umberto, even Sandy was a storm that gave no time to prepare. Security window film provides that safety net when you don't have time to prepare or sudden tornado or hailstorm or what have you, hurricane, you're already protected. Hurricane Umberto in 2007 went from a tropical depression at 4 a.m. to landfall as a hurricane at 1 a.m. within 24 hours. No time to prepare for anything. 
No one really knew what destroyed buildings until Project Safe Windows in 2004 studied the four hurricanes that hit Florida in 2004. They wanted to know why one building was survived and the ones next to it were obliterated. They looked at shutters, they looked at impact glass, and they even looked at security film. And in the end, they found out why was the building survived versus destroyed? Windborne debris breaks the window. The air pressure gets in, structural failure, roof loss. And security film and impact glass and shutters made all the difference. The only difference is, the least costly, is security window film. Here's a picture of a window blown out in Chambers County during the hurricane. Notice the glass kind of half missing all the, again, the rain damage, the water damage uh, entry for anybody. I uh, once had an engineer tell me he calculated, as we were putting the security film on his house, that he thought a hole in a window, 50,000 pounds of uplift on the roof, potentially. Window. When born debris breaks a window, air rushes in, looks for a way out. Easy way is pulling off the roof and then the windows collapse and the roofs collapse and the walls collapse. Tornadoes are like tight little hurricanes. It's rapidly spinning wind, throwing debris, throws it through a window. You uh, have the same issue as a hurricane. Uh, they happen anytime, anywhere, schools, factories, you name it. Again, security window film would allow shelter in place from a tornado, from the flying glass, debris strike, and would provide greater security than none, which is what they have now. Houston Chronicle did a study uh, after Hurricane Ike and showed that a Cat 2 uh, would cost $36 billion in damages to the Houston area from a direct hit. Um, Sandy, uh, Superstorm Sandy hit New York was somewhere near 50, 60 billion. Uh, if a Cat 3 hit Houston, Houston, 157 billion dollars, which is four and a half times the damage from a Cat 1. As these storms increase in power, the damages without protection will continue to increase, and the major threat is to armor our weakest link, our windows. A couple shots of some of the damage from Superstorm Sandy that hit the New York, New Jersey area. And then we have the golf ball threat. You see uh, hail on the right and you have golf ball damage on the left. No mess, no fuss, no broken glass all over your kitchen. No hail breaking in in the worst possible time. So what does this uh, security film look like? Well, here is uh, some of the clear film being put on some very large windows, actually at the University of Houston. To uh, Some of this had computers in the background. They had no protection. Uh, it was a fraction of the shutters they had already put on the outside. Here is a courthouse in uh, Chambers County, Texas, again. They had uh, used it as an uh, emergency ops center during the hurricane. Never wanted to go through a hurricane again without security film on the windows. We also use a structural sealant on the edge, put the film on, and then around the edge here, we bond it to the frame, special caulking that holds it in place even if broken. Same over here on the other. Once you put the film on, you let it dry out, come back in and put a structural sealant with a Dow 995 rating. GE also has a very similar product that I actually like better because it uh, smells less, does the same adhesion, and uh, comes in uh, many more colors that you uh, can use for frames that are mainly residential but also commercial. Here are some projects in which uh, security film was used. This is a Chase Bank uh, on Long Island, 2009, October, before the three big storms hit three years after that. Notice these are oversized windows. Uh, 
beyond the, the length, and we put security film on all of this glass in order to uh, prevent it uh, from blowing in during a storm or even a break-in. It was the first time they told us uh, that security film had been used on Long Island. Over here is a picture of the Chambers County Courthouse in uh, Texas. Again, this for the EOC. These windows, single pane, uh, overly hot for everybody, uh, no security in the storm. We actually solved two things at once. We gave them a, a security solar film that cut 70% of the heat getting into the building. At the same time, it gave them a secure wall. They were looking at putting metal shutters on this building. It would have uh, totally destroyed it, would have been uh, extraordinarily expensive and ugly. This is the inside uh, down here on the right of the City Hall Seabrook. Again, they went through Ike. They actually had shutters and windows break behind those shutters. They put on the security film that cut about half the heat. Uh, their detectives were burning up and now they have uh, security film as well for protection worked uh, all the way around. A uh, little before and after. Here's before, there's the after. Here's another shot showing the uh, impact on security film. Yeah, you you know, at least it's uh, secure. And again, uh, how glass can really break out. This is a shot inside a major pool area. There's a pool off in this area over there, but Parts of these big windows, the vandals were breaking out just for the fun of knocking in all the glass. This was a horrible mess. We ended up putting our film on all this glass to prevent this from occurring again. And, and uh, over several years now, there have been no further incidents. It uh, no longer becomes fun to break the glass. Here is an example of the difference between uh, security film costs on one hand for that, that building you just saw and uh, impact glass on the other hand. This is impact glass. You can see it still breaks. It still uh, got to be replaced at a much more expensive than security film that's been broken on regular glass. So you just replace your regular glass, put security film back on, you're good to go versus spending about five times more to replace that. The initial cost for the film on that building somewhere under 30 grand versus nearly 100 grand for the impact glass again and the limitation on the big glass you can't make a 121 inch piece like we needed it's uh, too heavy for the frame so you're limited in the size uh, security film you can go six feet wide even wider than that with a butt and uh, 100 feet long There's, it's much more advantageous so another little quick review, why use security film? Well, the storms are getting bigger. Uh, the burglaries are going to always be with us. I mean, let's face it, solar heat is always going to be with us. Uh, something that actually pays for itself. Now, what else have you ever bought that does? I mean, uh, we've had projections under five years, even uh, less than that, depending on the building. It makes a lot of sense. It's carbon negative. You're actually saving more energy than it took to make this product, security window film. It armors every building's weakest link, which is your glass. If you don't do that, the re you can have the strongest walls, but without armoring your glass, uh, it's no big deal for anything to break in and cause more damage. It's a 21st century solution and a win-win technology. We need more of that. All right, this is actually the green part for the architects that want to look at ye, how the lead credits work. So you can be green and protected. Part of being green is that it's carbon negative, saves more energy, as we said, than it takes to make. One good example, Rice University, uh, their Weiss dorm. It uh, provided uh, no protection during Hurricane Ike. They moved from one glass building to another. They were still under threat. We uh, put uh, security film on there, estimated it will pay itself in three years so they can now shelter in place in the event of a storm instead of being exposed to flying glass. And the 99% reduction in UV will 
save their furnishings much longer. So it's really sustainable design. Our uh, security film is actually a Clinton Climate Initiative approved product. So again, security window film is part of being the green energy efficiency, but also coupled with security. It only makes total sense in the 21st century if you think about it. Window film and LEED. LEED evaluates buildings on these green design categories, one of which uh, is energy. If you look at LEED compliance, it's really no guarantee of a safe uh, uh, building. It may be a more efficient building, but you will find that most LEED compliance forgets the glass, so they're really not making it safer and they could really be making it much more energy efficient by using it. Dallas, for example, is now requiring buildings to become 50% more energy efficient. This is sort of a national trend. Federal goal, try to reduce our energy cost budget 30%. And this is going to continue. Energy conservation, we could. We are 5% of the world's population in the U.S. We use 25% or more of the world's energy we could squeeze a lot of efficiency and that would cut costs dramatically while improving safety. Why is this important? Well, world population growth is now 7 billion people. Over here, China will become potentially the largest economy in the world, overtaking us in the United States within 20 years. Resources consumption is going to be dramatic. Look at Europe. Uh, Africa is still the most undeveloped area. South America, not too bad. Energy efficiency will become the requirement for survival in the 21st century. And again, security to go with that. Good example recently on the U.S. is this is Hurricane Sandy. It really came out of nowhere. It came up here. The European model said it would go this way. The U.S. model said it would go this way. So again, the Europeans were right. Look at the blackout on the right over here, that what the lights that Sandy took out just from impact. The stronger the storms, the more these impacts. Look at all the lights along the coast, subject to the weatherization, the stronger storms. Again, we must harden our infrastructure all through the coastline all the way around in order to prepare for a 21st century that's hotter and with more menacing storms. By and large, a LEED certification means that your building is at least 25 to maybe 30 percent more efficient than a non-LEED building. Uh, gold and platinum are the upper echelon where you can get even more energy savings. Again, they're missing the low-hanging fruit by ignoring their windows that could be readily breached. Energy Star label uh, is almost 40% less energy than the average buildings. You emit less carbon. And even Texas, even Texas is trying to require 5% per year energy efficiency increases for government, schools, etc. Why is this important? Well, look at our carbon emissions and they're going up, 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 up. We're actually uh, at a critical mass that humanity could actually overheat its own planet. If we do, we, we become Venus. There is no business. You really don't want to go down that road, especially for your children and grandchildren. By the way, if the entire world consumed as much as the United States did, uh, we would uh, consume at least three Earths, uh, if it were the UK, France, uh, three, even China down here at one, but it would definitely put, uh, if everybody consumed like we did, we would need, uh, oh, about four or five more planets, which uh, we don't happen to have available. Good news is we do have green-minded companies. We have uh, companies like IBM and Hewlett Packard and Dell, Office Depot, you know, Adobe, et cetera, Intel. These uh, make a huge difference, and all of us need to join in uh, being much more energy efficient and uh, cognizant of the impact on our uh, global situation.
greenishness is not good for your conscience. It actually is good for your pocketbook. Uh, IBM saved over 43 million bucks in energy just from its program. It avoided uh, a substantial amount of CO2, and it all means money in the bottom line. Even more companies becoming the key word is sustainability. If it doesn't make sense for a budget, it doesn't make sense if we uh, from our natural resources. So a little quick synopsis now of where security window film fits into all this. You're cutting heat up to 79%, you're cutting UV 99%, it's a cancer threat, it kills all your furnishings, you don't have to replace often, you get one to four lead credits, it reduces insurance claims, what is there not to like about that if you're an insurance company, reduces or eliminates internal damage from explosions, storms, human break-ins, what is there not to like about that if you're a human being? It's carbon negative. It's not negative like your mother-in-law might be, but it's clean, it's green, it's good. And no offense, I, I happen to like mother mother's laws. It pays back from energy savings uh, in a very timely fashion. Uh, rice is only but one example of that. This is makes a lot of sense for a number of reasons. The most cost-effective the most benefits, uh, why doesn't everybody have this? Good news is that saving energy is still low hanging fruit. Um, energy and atmosphere is the largest part of the LEED program. Uh, it's out of 17 potential points, it can result in 10 points. Look at all the glass we have and what it would take to cut half of that from the building's cooling and heating requirements. We waste so much through our glass that could be avoided and the damages from that breach by using a security window film. Texas is but one state that has an energy efficiency program um, to try to cut gas emissions. It is an evolving art uh, which we are doing nationally, but we're not doing nearly enough on both a, a local, state, and national level. A little quick review on the lead credits. You got new construction, you got existing buildings, it's good for both. It also would help reach the gold standard and help meet all the state and or federal energy efficiency requirements coming down the pike. But bottom line, it's still good sense just to make more money and be more secure and have uh, avoid your building being knocked out of commission for months on end from water damage from a breached window. Quick slide just showing like all these coastal areas were definitely and all the way around the country. And uh, you got threat from high winds, you got heat, you got hurricanes, you got yeah, a little bit of everything. Another part of the lead credit is for light trespass, as you know, as it comes in the building. Light pollution reduction. Uh, one of the good things is that uh, the film dramatically cuts light trespass and glare. Everybody loves glare, right? Not. Here you see what glare looks like on this side of the frame and what it looks like with some security protection on the other side of the frame, it does make an impact. Thermal comfort, I mean, come on guys, what do we want? Thermal comfort, we do not want all that heat coming in through the glass and cooking us like we're sitting in an oven. So basically at least 80% of the occupants can be comfortable and that is with solar security. Now the clear, uh, you'll get about maybe 20% solar reduction, but you need a security tint version to get 50% or better solar heat reduction along with the UV. Security window film also gives you lead credits for innovation uh, as part of the upgrade. It also gives you credits for blocking UV the number one skin cancer threat. By the way, this is a UV thing. You don't want one. The security film, as any uh, film would, but 
it would prevent that from happening or shield you from the UV that would expose you to that. Lead credit is also available for fade reduction. Fade reduction, which is reducing waste, improving the maintenance, and etc. So you get heat rejection. There's a number of ways to use the program to get lead credits. Now to show what it's like in practical uh, application. This is a photo of Rice Dorm in Rice, uh, White Storm in Rice. Notice the students were resorting to uh, creative use of tinfoil to uh, shelter themselves from the heat going through that single pane glass when it was built. Yes, yeah, so they had a solar heat issue and they had a security issue during Ike with all this glass. This is the after photo when all of the glass was protected with armor glass security film, solar security film, cutting over half the heat coming through that glass. The air conditioners now work before they were overheated and would not work. And this is the only building on campus at Rice where students can now shelter in place. We've even secured this area here with the computers and the study area so that the students have a safe place on the campus in the event of a hurricane, even an explosion. They didn't have that before. So instead of bare glass with security film, they had a level C four and a half pound large missile impact protection. They had Miami-Dade pro protocol protection. They had windborne debris protection. Bottom line, security window film can help avoid all of these issues, including the, the smirky slurky guy on the right, left, the break in on the Chick-fil-A on the right, the crazy hanging of plywood that is a suicide mission, and uh, not messing with that cheap solar stuff that's not going to protect you at all. So again, this is a shot of the Chambers County Courthouse. Their solar heat's been reduced 70%. They've got a green solution. They've got skin cancer protection. Their furnishings will last longer and they can now shelter in place and use it for their emergency ops center during the next storm. And once it's on, if a little local riot happens to break out or the car blows up outside your building, You've got protection you never had before, and people won't die that would have died before. So in short, the security film advantage is you got permanent hurricane burger protection, security and protection for your family, and investment that provides a payback that you wouldn't get otherwise. Win, win, win. As any good architect should, when you're doing the job, you analyze the weakest link. What is the saving in energy without security? And protect people and property from the breach of their windows from whether it's a hurricane, an explosion, a burglar, tornado debris, any kind of certified security film will do that. You'll get 24 seven protection, cut your energy bill, save your people go with at least an eight mil film and also make sure it's bonded with a 995 structural sealant and that has passed the large missile test 1886-1996 four and a half pound if it hasn't passed all these don't get it quick slide showing a couple places where this, it's been applied chase bank a bank uh, even at the U of H, University of Houston, as well as Rice University. It's been on Coca-Cola. It's been at Sparrow Hospital. We've even done astronauts' homes, retired teachers, beach homes. Um, I haven't done a palace yet, but I would like to. I actually had one that was close to it. If you happen to be in Houston, you can go to the Green Resource Center for the city of Houston and there you'll see a display of just a regular old window with security film on it and what that looks like. 
uh, and then check out the little details on the savings. And if you got any questions, feel free to shoot them to us uh, or me, Michael, at info at armorglass.com, A-R-M-O-R glass.com. And remember us at Armor Glass International. If you have any questions, we're more than happy to try to help you. Yeah, after all, if how many of us may face any of these issues in the near future, especially if it's me on the golf course near your windows, Katie, bar the door, you better have all the protection you can get. This is Michael Fetland. Thank you very kindly for listening. For the architects, this is a one-hour credit, and have a great day.